Back on Q's TV, Nikki Galasso joins us as we get ready for the ACC tournament this weekend. Uh, Nikki, always a fun event. Uh, what stands out about getting this rematch with Carolina as quick as you guys have? Uh, high intensity, you know, 17-15 game last time, you know, and in the beginning of the game we were unfortunate hitting a bunch of pipes. So, uh, you know, just like I said, high intensity, fast pace, up and down, and just a good game of lacrosse. Carolina did play very well two weeks ago, but how close did a few of you guys were to actually pulling off that comeback? Um, you know, they did play really well, and you know, to, to their credit, they're a great team, and you know, they have a great offense and great players, uh, you know, supporting them. So, um, I think that we just uh, have to come out a little bit stronger in the beginning of the game, and uh, you know, they're like I said, they're a very good team. So, you know, it's it's going to be a high and high intensity game, and. Uh, you know, we're excited for it. How much did that Hobart game now a, about a week ago help to get just get everything back on track for this team? Uh, you know, it was good preparation, you know, for things that we haven't seen in a while. And, uh, you know, just seeing a team like that and just, you know, getting everyone, you know, the seniors of the senior day, getting a bunch of seniors out there on the field and, you know, getting everyone, you know, uh, the, the reps, you know, because, you know, not a lot of people get to see the field that much. So it was good to see, like, some of the young underclassmen and some of the guys that don't get to see the field get them on there because, you know, they do a lot for us in practice and we have to give them a lot of credit. So it was really good to get out there, you know, get get those guys on the, on the field and, uh, you know, we played a great game as a team. You know better than most, I think, how much you want to be healthy at this time of the season. How much does this now weekend, about to be a week and a half of no game to get you ready for the tournament and freshen up, help you guys out? Uh, it freshens up. Freshens us up a lot, you know. Um, I mean, you know, with these bumps and bruises throughout the season, you know, this is the, probably the most crucial time as we get, you know, closer to the end of the season. So, and you know, this is like when we get to, if we, you know, win the first game, you know, you play uh, in another game. So it's one day of preparation to get to the next game. So we're not thinking ahead, but what I'm saying is like, you know, this is just good to get our bodies back into motion. Going back to last year's tournament, all three games in the ACC tournament, the team that lost the regular season game won the tournament game. Is that how close this league is again this year? That you wouldn't shock anyone to see the same thing. Oh, definitely. I mean, ACC is the highest powered off, off, offense. Sorry, highest powered you know a, a division and conference in Division One lacrosse. So you you don't know what to expect. You know, any team's going to come out any given day and give them their best. And you know, you just have to be you have to expect everything and be ready for every team for you know every every moment. As big as this tournament is, and as much as you want to win it, how much can this too be a dress rehearsal for hoping to get to championship weekend and the idea of two games in three days? Uh, like I just said, you know, the ACC, you're probably going to see three or f three teams, maybe even four in that national championship, you know, final four weekend. So uh, this is just great preparation. I mean, these are the top teams that we're going to see, and, you know, it's just it's getting us ready for, you know, playoffs and uh, the games that we're going to look forward to after this. All right, Nicky, good luck this weekend. Thank you.